you put 90 billion dollars, mm -hmm. like 50 years worth of breaks into, into solar and wind, to, 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 to Solyndra and Fisker and Tesla and Enter One. I mean, I, I had a friend who said, you don't just pick the winners and losers, you pick the losers, all right? So, so th this, is not, this is not the kind of policy you wanna have. You wanna get America energy secure. Well, that was Governor Romney at the first debate blasting President Obama over the administration's long line of failed green energy projects. Well, now there's a new project on that list that could come up, come up in tonight's showdown. An electric car battery maker announcing today it is filing for bankruptcy after receiving nearly $250 million in your money through the stimulus and more than $100 million in state tax breaks. Fox Business Network anchor Stu Varney joins us now. He's host of Varney & Co. on FBN. So another one bites the dust, Stu. Uh, this, what, A123 Systems yep. is filing for bankruptcy. And how much dough of ours did they get? Okay, they got $249 million worth of grants. That is literally a check from the taxpayer, plus a lot of state aid going into their system as well. Essentially, they're bust. It's another green energy bust, and this comes on the day of the second presidential debate. Essentially, this company made batteries for electric cars. President Obama wanted to back electric cars, but they've not been selling well, so A123 Systems this morning was due to make a big debt payment, couldn't, it didn't have the money, doesn't have enough money to keep on going, it is likely to go bankrupt. One of the ironies is one of the big companies they were supposed to be selling these electric car batteries to was Fisker. And that's another co company that got a bunch of our money. And they, too, had all sorts of trouble, and so much so that they actually had to stop the bleeding and stop giving some of our hundreds of millions to Fisker. So now they both failed. Well, Fisker uh, got $529 million in loan guarantees ended all production of these electric cars in the United States, but does still make some electric cars in Finland. So we've got a half billion dollars worth of American taxpayer money backing up a company which makes electric cars in Finland and which will no longer have A123 system batteries to put in those cars. Okay. This, this A123 was touted as a big success story by uh, the former Michigan governor, Jennifer Granholm, of the stimulus. Remember the big stimulus bill that was supposed to revive the economy? And it was criticized by many as just a list of pork that was given out to some favorites by the Democratic lawmakers who were doling it out. But Jennifer Granholm, the former governor of Michigan, said this is a wonderful stimulus success story, Stu, as it turns out. Not so much. Well, the president has consistently tried to pick winners in the green energy field. He has pursued political goals, green energy, as opposed to solid businesses, and many of them have failed, and taxpayer money has been lost. I don't but have. But he a... says, but Stu, he says, you know, and he said this all along, in any portfolio, even in the portfolio of Stu Varney, some win, some don't. Yes, but the list of failures is so long. And the fact that the administration is doubling down on these subsidies, that gives pause for concern. Abound Solar, N01, Fisker, Fisher Coachworks, Tesla, Solyndra, Beacon Power, Amonix, Spectra Watt, Evergreen, all of these companies are either bankrupt or they've lost taxpayer money or they've stopped producing green energy products. That is a very long list of failures. It does raise questions about whether this is the right place to invest our money, at least questions uh, that Mitt Romney claims that need answers, and we'll see whether he raises that again tonight. Stuart, sure. thank you. Yeah.